I'm Dr. Corky Wilhite, and thank you for joining me for Quick Tips sponsored by Cosmonet. I want to start today by talking about the proper way to use a brush. You want to prime a brush with whatever product you're using by saturating the bristles completely, wiping off the excess with a clean, dry gauze, and then re-dipping it back into the product for just the right amount of material. This is going to allow you to have a much more accurate placement. You want that to be placed in a thin layer. In this case, it's uh, unfilled resin. It could be any other adhesive, tents, opaquers. Applying this material properly is a key before you light cure it. One of my favorite composites to use is uh, Cosmonent's Renamel Microhybrid. When this material is dispensed from the compule, one of the things that you'll almost always notice is that it appears to be very chalky. This is just the very initial appearance because as soon as you begin to manipulate the material, it begins to uh, have a viscosity that actually will allow it to flow just enough to be extremely adaptable to the underlying tooth surface. I'm using a rather um, heavy instrument here. This is Cosmonet's broad bladed or G3 instrument and it allows me to fairly rapidly achieve that effect of making that material seem very smooth and uh, eliminate the chalky appearance completely. So once I start to place that uh, material in the proper area where I'm blending it in, then I can switch over to a finer instrument. This is my favorite instrument that I use predominantly and it's the IPCL or Interproximer Carver Long. And when I'm using this material, I can cleave off a little excess on the incisal edge. Um, if, if, if there's a tight area uh, to blend it in to proximally or on, at the margin, I can do that very nicely. And as I take my time to blend this material, the key factor in avoiding air bubbles is to make sure that this material isn't allowed to fold over onto itself or onto the underlying tooth structure in a way that could trap air. So gently, so almost massaging or teasing this material so that you're able to avoid trapping air is a critical uh, component. You can see how the surface here has uh, a, a shiny luster. Um, if you allow that material just to set there for 30 seconds or so, it'll self-level quite nicely. If I want to pull this material over to that um, margin on the left side of the screen there, I can gradually do that again, being very careful not to create that material um, to fold over onto itself and trap uh, air there. So very, very gently. The same thing uh, would be done in terms of handling or eliminating white lines is I don't want that material as I pull it over onto tooth structure uh, to be able to really tell where the composite stops and the tooth structure starts. I want to blend that carefully until the margin becomes invisible. So again you can see a, an overall relatively smooth surface that would have very little chance of having air bubbles or creating a white line. Thank you very much.